Here we have some word problems involving Bernoulli trials. In a Bernoulli trial, you have a situation where the outcome can be one of two things, either a success or a failure. And in Bernoulli trials, uh, we have more than one trial of that situation. For example, in this first problem, it says Ben Ali has eight cards numbered from one to eight. He draws three cards with replacement. What is the probability that Ben Ali will draw exactly two even cards and one odd card? So we could call the success condition as being even, an even card, and the failure condition as being odd. So we'll go ahead and do that. And the question is, what's the probability in that kind of a situation that you get two even and one odd? Now, for something like this, you could draw out all of the possibilities. You could create the sample space, you know, uh, every possibility when you draw three cards, because it's not that many. There's only eight possibilities. You could draw all even, all odd. You could draw even, odd, even, 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 odd, etc. And you could get an answer pretty easily that way. So if that works for you, give that a shot. Uh, when we get down to slightly more complicated problems, um, that becomes really time consuming. And there's another formula here that might seem a little complex at first, but actually is not too tough that applies to these Bernoulli trials. What you want to do with these is define something as a success case. So like we did here, we defined the even as a success and the odd as a failure. And then we're going to use this, this formula where we have n choose x. You may remember this from um, uh, some probability uh, work that you did before. We'll go over what n choose x actually means mathematically in a second. But we're going to multiply that n choose x times the success case raised to the x power. And by x here, what I mean is the number of successes. So we've defined even as, as our success case. We want two even cards. So our x here is going to be 2. And then we multiply that by 1 minus p, which is the failure, that's q, right, to the n minus x power. And n is just the number of trials total. Our total number of trials here is 3, because we're picking 2 even and 1 odd. Um, so n minus x, so n equals 3, n minus x is going to be 1. The only other number we need in here is a number for p, and that's really the probability of pulling an even card. In this case, we have eight cards, and half of them are even. So p here is 0.5. Okay, so now we can start plugging in the numbers here. p to the x, that'd be 0.5 to the second power, the number of successes that we want, times 1 minus p. Well, 1 minus p, it's going to be 0.5. 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5. And in this case, we want to the n minus x. Well, n minus x is 3 minus 2. That's to the first power. And then we're going to multiply it by this, this n choose x. n choose x, that is n factorial over x factorial times n minus x factorial. And in this case, that's pretty easy to figure out. So n is 3. So 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Could have left the 1 off there. x factorial, x is 2, so that's 2 times 1. And n minus x is 1. 1 factorial is just 1. So we can cancel the 2s. And we've really got 3 over 1. So this is 3 times 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5. That, when you crunch the numbers, is going to be 0.375. If you listed out the probability space, you would have noticed that it was three out of the eight uh, situations, and that's 0.375. All right, let's try a slightly more complicated one here. In this case, we've got a bag that has six green marbles and seven red marbles, so a total of 13. And it's same kind of situation, pulling a marble, putting it back, pulling another marble, putting it back. And the question is, what's the probability that you have two green marbles, one red marble? So let's call our success What's the probability that you pull a green marble? Well, that is six chances out of 13 marbles. So our Q is red, and that probability is seven chances out of the 13. Our number of trials uh, and number of successes is just the same in the previous problem. We want to get two green marbles. So our success number is two. Our total trials is three. And I think we have everything that we need now. So let's set up the formula. 
Uh, so n choose x. Didn't need that that line there. So n choose x times the probability of the success raised to the number of successes power times one minus the probability of success, which is probability of failure, to the n minus x, the number of trials minus the number of successes power. So that's our formula. Let's start writing it out. So the n choose x is n factorial. Our n is 3, so we'll have 3 times 2 times 1 over x factorial, which is 2 times 1, times n minus x factorial. So that's just 1 factorial or 1. And this will cancel. So we just have 3. p to the x. So what's the probability of success? It's 6 thirteenths. The number of successes we want is 2. So that'll be raised to the second power. 1 minus p is the failure probability. That's 7 thirteenths. And that is raised to the n minus x, 3 minus 2, or the first power. And at this point, we can just pull out our calculators. So I'm going to type in 6 divided by 13, square that, multiply by 7, divide by 13, and multiply by 3. And I get 0. 0.344 and a little bit of change. So it looks like our correct answer is C there. So that is how to calculate probabilities in Bernoulli trials.